see. You know, it's, it's, you got a crew right here, man. Your boy, they're supporting you. And I was, I was literally going, boy, we have a lot of Spurs fans here. But when you're walking out and our guests come out and they high-five people, nobody can reach your hand. <laughs> Go lower. And we, we got to say congratulations on everything. Um, NBA champion, NBA finals MVP, and the most important thing on Sunday, happy birthday. Yeah. Oh, yeah, thank you. MVP for, I mean, I feel like you can't really top that birthday present too well. Uh, you not at all. Uh, I was thinking about it during the finals. I wanted to have a good birthday last year, losing. Uh, I couldn't really celebrate like I wanted to. Well, how were you How were you guys as, as a team able to get past last year and, and to play the way you were able to play this year throughout the whole season, especially in the playoffs? Uh, I just feel like nothing drives you more than losing. And uh, just having that in the back of our heads every day at practice, just going through the season, uh, we knew what we had to do. And... Um, just losing that short, we just knew that we have to push it, push it even harder this year to get over the hump. And you joined this team with a bunch of players who have been playing together forever. What's it like coming into that environment and, and kind of dealing with that chemistry? Was it hard to gel at first, or did you guys get along right away? Well, not really. We have a great group of uh, guys on the team. They're veterans, so they've probably been through a lot of rookies. So just myself, um, it was pretty hard just adapting. Right. And because I came in during the lockout year, so it was no training camp. And I was learning plays on the fly, like, throughout the whole year, in games, not even knowing what, what the play calls were. Did they try to haze you as a rookie? Because when I came in, like, <laughs> you know, I had, like, Lawrence Taylor and all those guys. You come in, you got Tim Duncan, you know, Ginobili, Tony Parker. Did they, like, give you a hard time as a rookie? No, not at all. They didn't do that much rookie hazing. All I have to do is bring in donuts every morning. <laughs> But you know what? That that right now you can walk up in there and say, Y'all can't tell me nothing. Yeah. I ain't worried about nothing. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh, we gotta take a quick break, man. But when we come back, you hitting all those shots, you making all those baskets. We're gonna see what you got. Cause we're gonna play a little basketball with Kawhi Leonard when we come back. More on live at livekelly at Michael.com. Here. We're gonna shoot some shots, man. We're gonna play a little, little, little pig, horse, whatever you want to play. You're up first since you're the MVP and the champ. All See right. what you got. Oh yeah. <laughs> free agent. Would you welcome him on the Spurs? Uh, whatever decision. After you just deed him up and you guys beat him, if, if LeBron said, you know what? I, I want to play for the Spurs. Would you say that's cool? Uh, whatever makes him happy. Uh, that's up to him. <laughs> Such a nice <laughs> answer. 